We work in physical therapy where um, a person has had a stroke and they're trying to get them to use their arm. We give them a ball. Throw the ball, the dog goes and gets the ball. The dog brings the ball back to the person. The person will do this forever where the physical therapists on their own can't get them to do that. The same thing with the walker. We'll get them to walk with them very slowly and they'll walk further because they're with the dog. Uh, we teach them to work around medical equipment, like I said, feeding tubes, IVs, that kind of thing. They have to be also aware of all the sounds that they hear. Uh, beeping of uh, different types of equipment. Um, if the fire department comes in, they have to know what to do to get to the side wall where the people can get through. Um, we teach them to back up, like I said, because sometimes the facilities have their beds right up against the wall. You get in there with your dog, and if the dog doesn't know how to back up, there's no way to get out. So we teach them that. Uh, we teach them a lot of, um, they have to work on a loose lead. They have to know how to sit, down, stay. You have to be able to walk away from them and then stay right there. Uh, we train a six weeks course. It is not an obedience course. It trains the dogs to work in therapy work with wheelchairs, walkers, uh, equipment, hospital equipment, uh, with children, anything that they might encounter doing therapy work. We go to nursing home facilities, assisted living facilities. We also go to um, programs where they have the emo emotionally and physically handicapped adults and children. We go to the schools to read to the dog program, uh, where the children will sit down and read to a dog longer than they will a person because the dogs don't know if they make a mistake. So they'll continue reading. Uh, we also go do schools like I did the high school and teach the kids about therapy work and the community service that they can provide. You must be a very committed person and dedicated person to do this work. Um, I've had I've taught for over ten and a half years. And I've had students that go through the program and we never see them again. We don't understand what that's all about, but um, the person must be dedicated to doing the therapy work, dedicated to their dog and training their dog how to do the proper therapy work. We also are certified through Therapy Dogs Incorporated out of Cheyenne, Wyoming, which carries a $5 million liability on every one of our dogs. So if anything ever happens in a facility, the dog is covered, or the person is covered. You, Therapy Dogs Incorporated says you have to make four visits a year. Uh, four visits a year won't cut it with our Paul's program. You need to be dedicated to go as many times as you can, at least once a month, to one of the, one of the facilities uh, or to the children's programs or the libraries, wherever, but at least working somewhere once a month. If you don't, your dog loses what we have taught them in that class. I founded the PAWS program starting in Lake County, and they are still up and running. Then I founded the PAWS program in Sumter County, and they're still up and running. And I came down to Pasco and have started the Pasco PAWS uh, last March. A dog has to be people friendly. Must like people, uh, cannot be dog aggressive because it works around other dogs. So it can't be 
aggressive towards another dog that's in the class or that is working with them that day. Uh, you can generally tell by the temperament of the dog if the dog is going to be a good therapy dog. Not every dog can be a therapy dog. You do a screening process, correct? We do. We do a pretest. And the pretest tells us uh, this, this dog's going to be a good candidate or this dog, no. They have to be 16 to be certified through Therapy Dogs Incorporated. Now I have put 11 year olds through uh, the program and they have to go through an exception committee and they have to have references from teachers, from you know, uh, different people of their character. But the ones that I put through are very active. One ran for Miss Florida, Junior Miss, and she, her platform, platform was therapy dogs. And she um, wrote to every mayor of every city in the state of Florida and asking them to declare a therapy dog day. And she got 75% that did it. It's pretty it good. just goes on and on and on. I mean, every week I have, have developed, this is my own course, and I have developed a course to where it runs exactly perfect. And they have to fit in three visits during that six weeks where they go to a facility, two have to be a medical facility, a third one can be with children, or whatever you choose to do. Visits we limit to one hour because the dogs get very fatigued. Um, we work with Alzheimer's patients and they give off uh, impulses from their fingers when they touch the dog. And when the dog receives that, the dog gets extremely tired. So we limit Alzheimer's visits to 15 minutes, but facility visits are only an hour. That's All right, you need to contact myself or Charlotte Swindell and we will give you, talk to you over the phone, give you a little particular so that you know exactly what you're getting into and we will also get information from you and then your next step would be the pretest, which we screen the dogs. How often do the courses start up? We run them about every eight weeks. We are totally we have no funding at all. We're total volunteers. We, we only accept cash gifts, um, and that's how we run the program. Charlotte and I put out of our own pocket what we spend on these classes. So everybody is strictly a volunteer. Correct. Okay. The Therapy Dog Incorporated uh, test and certification is $25 a year. Now that fee is what people would have to pay Correct. to be okay. Now they can be dual handlers, which means two people with one dog, and that's $30, um, where both of them can work the dogs. Um, and we also do a canine good citizen test through the American Kennel Club during our course, and that's a $5 fee. How old do you think a dog should be before a dog is? A dog has to be a year old. It's out of the whole puppy phase, yeah. Cannot be under a year old. Uh, that's Therapy Dog Incorporated rules. And you must have owned the dog six months. 